Get another check of the forecast, Andrew. Our temperatures are going to drop even yeah. more by the morning, that is. That is the coldest morning coming yeah. up. And I should say in, uh, well, it is already past midnight. So this morning will be the coldest morning coming up that we've seen since April. We have some frost advisories, freeze warnings, and that is why we are in a next weather alert as we head into your Monday. Now this goes until 9 o'clock. And that means that until then, we're going to have temperatures that will be flirting with freezing across much of the area, save for the city of Philadelphia, which is under a frost advisory from 2 to 9. This is going to be for temperatures in the low, middle and upper 30s, but closer to freezing everywhere else, which is why we have this freeze warning that's in effect again from 2 to 9. If you're out there early in the morning, make sure you bundle up kiddos to school and of course keep those pets inside overnight tonight. Let's talk about the week ahead. We're going to start things off Monday through Wednesday. Yes, a cold start, but it's sunny and mild Tuesday. Wednesday, we start to see those temperatures climb. What's Thursday? The last day of October. Of course, that is Halloween, partly cloudy skies, and believe it or not, temperatures warming up so much so that we will be at near or record warmth or near or at record warmth as we get into your Thursday with temperatures in the 80s. Yeah. And it's not just us, really a lot of por portions of the Northeast and New England, 70s and 80s for Halloween. We cool down just a bit on Friday, still mild, but listen, potential for a shower. Yeah, and even at that, it's very small, but we are going to make it to at least Thursday, which would, be, which would be the 34th day in a row without a drop of rain here in Philadelphia. 59 degrees is where we made it today. 63 is the norm. The record was 85. And yeah, we're going to start to get closer to that the next couple of days. Of course, tomorrow morning or this morning starts off really chilly 30s and then we warm back up into the 50s and low 60s. By the time we get into the afternoon, low to middle 60s by about four o'clock. We get into Tuesday, mostly clear skies, temperatures warming up just a little bit more by Tuesday afternoon. We're right back in it. Upper 60s, even one or two of us close to 70. Nowhere else to go up uh, from there, but up. So as far as rainfall goes, yeah, other than Friday into Saturday, a chance of a quick shower. That's it, and we need it. It's going to take honestly between eight and 10 inches of rain, hopefully not all at once to get us out of this moderate to severe drought. Most of our area is in and again, what we're going to wait for is hopefully some steady rain, but it doesn't look like at least until the end of the week. We even have a slight chance of that 81 Thursday, Friday 74. Sure, we cool down over the coming weekend, but then we're back into the 70s, ensuring a very warm start to November for Halloween trick or treat. We're looking at temperatures around 81 in the city, 75 at the shore Lehigh Valley at 81 degrees. So tomorrow is a chilly start to the day, but we end up in the 60s with plenty of sunshine and light northwest winds. Here's your seven day forecast. Now we're talking 69 on Tuesday, 76 on Wednesday. After we get through Thursday again, a slight chance for a shower on Friday, very slight. Otherwise, we're back into mostly sunny skies for next weekend with temperatures at or near where they should be.